Okay, so this is a uh, video on specifically on the walk mode in Blender 2.8. And I've got a, a level that I pulled out of Quake 3 uh, just to have something to look at. Now, beyond the standard uh, navigation of middle mouse click drag to rotate, shift middle mouse click drag to pan, and control middle mouse click to zoom. Uh, there's another mode called walk mode for navigation, and when you're working in a larger scene like this, uh, it's, it's an extremely useful tool, uh, specifically because you, if you're just using a standard zoom, whether you're using mouse zoom or middle click control, you run into stops. So if I hold control and middle click, mouse click and drag, you can see that I hit a hard wall here. Um, and so if I, for example, wanted to go down to look at the corner down here, uh, I can't do that. I, I'd have to reset my view and then zoom in. Or I can go into walk mode. And to go into walk mode, you use uh, shift tilde. That's the key next to the one. And that puts you in this mode where I am now mouse steering. Um, and then basically to move around you use W, A, S, and D just like you would in a first person shooter. So it's a very quick way to get to a specific location. Say if you want to come in here and check your UVs, you can come in here and check your UVs. That type of thing. Now, uh, if you want to control the speed at which you fly, or in, the, in this case this is kind of a fly mode, so walk mode uh, is a misnomer in this particular mode. So if I roll the mouse wheel forward and use the arrow keys, or WASD, either one, I move pretty fast. And if I want to slow down, I can roll the mouse wheel backward. And as I'm moving, I can slow down quite a bit. OK, so speed is controlled with the mouse wheel. and the, uh, you can also use uh, a run factor, if you will. I, I consider it running because I'm a first person guy. Uh, if you hold a shift, you'll speed up. Okay, release shift, you go back to normal speed. If you roll your mouse wheel forward to where you're moving, uh, the speed factor, which is set in preferences, will just mean you move that much faster. So you go quite a bit faster. Now, another key is a function called teleport. And uh, the standard teleport is uh, using uh, spacebar or by middle mouse clicking. So you can see there's a little crosshair in the center. Whatever my crosshair is on, if I middle mouse click, it puts me right there. And there's a bit of physics going on here because you'll slide off of walls and things like that with uh, this command. But in this case, uh, teleport is super handy also. If you need to get to a particular place really fast, just bang, and you're right there. Now, there's another function in here for the walk mode, which actually makes this a lot more like a walk mode, and that is to use gravity. So to turn on gravity, you hit G and you will drop to the surface, and then you can walk around. And then your same uh, controls work. So if I roll my mouse wheel backwards, which I am, you notice I go quite a bit slower. If I hold down shift, I go faster. And if I click the middle mouse button, I'll teleport up and uh, kind of slam into a wall. <laughs> um, now, there's also something else that you may want to tend to do, and that is, in this case, I'm walking, so I want to jump. And jumps, the standard jump hotkey is, is V. So if you need to jump up here, okay, now here I'm falling out of the world, and I'm going to hit G to stop the fall. And I'm going to zoom back up to the world, get where I want to be, and I'll hit G again to drop down. I will probably remap V to uh, 
spacebar since that is way more natural to me. And again, realize that if any anything you point at, if you hit middle mouse key or space, you're going to teleport to that object or teleport to that spot. And it will do its best to not like slam you through a wall. Um, but anyway, so if for example you want to have a much more controllable jump, it's not something that's quite so high. Um, I don't know if it'll let you, it doesn't let you double jump. Those controls are in the preferences. And before I go to preferences, I want to show one more thing, which is that if I hit escape or right mouse click to get out of this mode, I will jump back to where I started, uh, where I originally went into walk mode. So if you want to stay where you're at, for example, um, I use shift tilde and I teleport over to this spot over here and I get to the point where I want to work on this and what I want to do is left click to make sure that I stick in that spot. Okay, so if you want to change some of the behaviors, go to your edit preferences. It's in navigation and it's under fly walk and if you for example go in here the standard uh, mouse sensitivity is set to 10 and that's really high and what will make the mouse uh, it'll make walking feel really herky-jerky and it's kind of a uh, uh, disconcerting so i would suggest you play with that value maybe turn it down uh, the teleport duration is just how long it takes the camera to transition from where you click the button to where you want to go. The smaller the number, the faster you're going to get there, which could be kind of disorienting. So you may want to play with the value again to see if you want it to move more slowly. Uh, walk speed is, this is the default that you set it at. Again, once you're in walk mode, you can change the speed by rolling the mouse wheel up and down. And the speed factor is the multiplication of this value that you uh, invoke by pushing the shift key while you're walking. And then down here, gravity, if you turn on gravity, what that means is that by default, when you go into walk mode, you'll immediately have gravity turned on. Uh, I don't like that, I leave it off. Uh, view height is, again, it's how high the camera would be over the surfaces. Uh, 1.6 meters is probably about average male height, and then jump height, the default jump height I believe is 0.4 meters, which is pretty pathetically low uh, if you're trying to get over anything, especially if you're building levels. So again, play with these values, they, uh, they turn on when you invoke gravity in here to change them. You'll need to turn it on and then uh, maybe turn it off. But other than that, it's, it's a super useful function. Uh, I use it all the time, and I know that a lot of people, or I shouldn't say a lot, but some people don't know that this function's in there or how, how, how to use it, so I made a quick video on it. Hope it helps.